This is Hillbilly's in the Bush, and I've been at it for oh, about an hour or so. Uh, we're going to make some chili today, and I've already been doing some processing. I got the onions cut, I got the uh, bell peppers cut, and uh, now I'm cutting the celery. The deer meat is uh, cooking on the stove. Here in just a few, we're going to go out and get a uh, fire going. We got a big kiddo out there. We're going to make some deer, uh, deer chili today, and uh, it's going to probably take most of the day to make it. And uh, so we'll be giving you guys some some shots as we go on today. And uh, so stick with us. We'll be showing you. A batch of deer chili hillbilly style, what do you think? So hang in there guys, and we'll talk to you later. Yep. See you later. I think you got her now. We're gonna get her going and uh, get her pot out and uh, We'll get back with you. Well, we need a coal base. And uh, I'd say it's about 45 degrees out this morning. And I'll tell you what, when it's 45 degrees, that right there sure does feel good when you get up against it. I don't have a coat on, but it might be 50 already. It's supposed to get up to 70 today, and uh, we're just building up a coal base. I... Uh, Got my poking stick right there, as you can see. What do you think, John? That's a pretty good poking stick. It's made out of ironwood. I think it'll poke the fire pretty good today. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Yeah, it works pretty good, John. We got Alex doing opening some cans. Ryan's getting our firewood around back or around to the side. Uh, we're gonna get all that stacked up over here by the fire. Our fire is just about ready to set the kettle on. Uh, as you can see, we all this is going in there. Uh, the meat's inside. It's getting pre-cooked. Uh, so we're getting ready to start. Uh, let me move out of the way, bud. Start getting stuff to throw in the pot. So we'll show you what that looks like once we start dumping it in. Start bringing me in bolt. Could have done them one at a time, bud. Got some bell pepper we're going to put in. Here, Alec. You're in front of the camera, son. We got some celery we're going to add. And we got some onion. And we are packed in there too. Uh, I think there's four or five big uh, bell peppers, a, stock, a whole stock of celery. There's probably almost two bags of onions. And uh, we got a big stick we're going to start stirring that with. Actually, it's a paddle that we use for applesauce. And uh, take both of them off. Yeah. Okay, you got it? Now you're still in the pan. Just shake it down in. And uh, we'll get her all in there and get it stirred around. We'll show you guys what it looks like. Of course, I guess I could show you what the bucket looks like here. That's all the can so far, but uh, Ryan stacking wood, and uh, that way we can start spoking them in like that right there. Just put the tips and then just keep adding them to them. Once you get a bed of coals and that pot gets hot, you don't need much, just a little bit to keep it going. But uh, we're making us a big batch of chili today. And we're back at Hillbillies in the Bush. This is what we got so far. We got us a big stirring spoon and a heavy worker there. 
We had a nice donation of wood from a friend. Careful moving the camera around, bud. Too fast. Move it slow. This will be ready in probably five hours, maybe. Four or five hours, I'd say, easy. We got a good coal base down. We got a bucket full, and now we're starting another bucket of cans. We got a big stick to calm down the coals. Poking stick. That's what John Nall calls a poking stick. Remember how we, he, we got to cut him a stick for yep. poking fires? Once that gets to bubbling real good, we'll come back and show them, huh? Yep. Bye, y'all. Ow. What are you doing, Alex? Stirring the pot. <laughs> Stirring the pot? I know somebody on YouTube that does that. That looks like a big bubbling cauldron going on there now. I guess the fire will burn and the cauldron will bubble. Well, you can't really see much of all that steam. That's I think we got at least five gallon. There might even be six, seven gallon, what do you think, Jeff? I think it's probably five. Five gallon? Mommy wants ten, but my gosh, that's a lot of chili. Uh, we'll see what happens. Meat, beans, celery, onion. You gonna be the official stir? Yep. Ryan will probably be stirring it too. Yeah. Huh? Unless you start a boiling or just barely moving around, that's enough. Don't slop it, bud. And uh, so it's starting to condense now. It'll probably condense for several hours yet, and uh, it'll be ready maybe around 1 o'clock, something like that should be. We'll see. Uh, but we'll get her cooked down, and we'll get back with you and show you what it looks like once it's cooked down. What do you think? Sound good, Alex? Yep. Uh, Mommy made cornbread and peanut butter sandwiches. Cup and she's got cakes. Cupcakes and crackers. And uh, we got a picnic table and some chairs set up around here for everybody. Any of the neighbors that want to come over. Uh, we've invited a few of them. They're more than welcome to come over and get them some chili. I think... Uh, Mommy's going to tell the preacher this morning when they go to church and any of the any of the um, church folk that want to come over and get them some chili for lunch, they can come over. Uh, we're not going to have it real spicy. Um, I'll have some hot sauce sit out on the table. And uh, that way somebody wants to add some heat to it. It's got a little kick to it, but nothing, no way near any kind of real ch hot chili or anything like that. But... Uh, We'll get her done, and we'll get back with you, show you what it looks like. See you later. Well, we're getting set up. We got our pot going there, and Ryan went out. He's put a bunch of chairs out. We got a couple of tables set up. Mommy put some tablecloths on them. Uh, got a big cooler there with some pop and stuff in it. Mommy made some cupcakes, we got some cheese, and there's some uh, cornbread, peanut butter sandwiches, and crackers. And uh, we got about another couple hours yet. But uh, I ought to have a good time today meeting the neighbors. The neighbors are going to come over and get them some chili, and uh, we can sit down, all of us, do some, do some chatting. So it's supposed to be a beautiful day today. The chili's almost done. Well, about another hour or so. It's thickening up real good right now. Uh, you ain't gonna be able to see it till I get it out of this pot because it's constantly steaming. But, uh, be pretty good. So, we'll be back. Okay, we got her. Uh, she's not, she's done. And as it turns out, that cooked down so far, we're going to probably make another batch. 
and it'll be done by this evening sometime but there's what she looks like all cooked down like oh you want some that's more than enough right here whoa and uh so we're gonna put the lid on it with what we did was Trent you want some Alex I only want like a half a scoop transferred some out of the pot into a stock pot and put it in this crock pot and then that way we don't have people oh, around man. our uh, around our kittle. I don't want nobody around the kittle for dirt, hair, or anything else. And uh, but uh, she cooked down quite a bit. Like I say, we've taken a big stock pot out, but there's still probably three gallon left in there, I imagine. And what we're going to do is, I believe we've got enough taken out. We may take another stock pot out, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some more meat going. And uh, chop up some more onion, bell pepper, and basically make another batch again, probably up to that line you see that it cooked down from. And then when that cooks down, we're done. And then probably what we'll do is uh, the chili. Once we can it, we're gonna we're gonna can it up, and then uh, it'll be chili all winter for us. I don't think we'll have to make any more chili, and uh, it'll be good to go for all winter. So, uh, thanks guys for stopping by. Uh, I think this will probably wrap this one up. Maybe uh, give you a shot of the next batch when it's done. And uh, this is how you make a monster batch of chili hillbilly style. So, till next time, uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see y'all later.